Alright guys, we're back. And uh, as you guys can see right here, take a look. We're doing 99 mega hash at about 237 watts. And the memory temp is at 80 degrees and the core is at 50. So initially, um, what I had done is I just recorded a video doing the thermal pad change on this. And, um, you know, I obviously use the critical pads, but for some reason, the card would just automatically go to 100 degrees Celsius on the memory temperature. Um, this one did not, which I find very weird because I did the exact same thing. So what I did was I added pads to a back plate, uh, as you saw in the video. And as you can see to this one as well, you might not be able to see it, but, um, that's what I did. And my initial findings on this card was like the critical pads weren't doing anything. So that's why I did add the uh, pads to the back plate. And I also did on this one. Um, so I don't know what's up with this card. I don't know if it needs three mil. Maybe it was just a bad batch of critical pads. I, I really don't know. I found it very odd, but um, they work for this card. Uh, I don't know why they didn't work for this card. So. Um, I guess I'm just gonna have one hotter EVGA RTX 3080 XC3 card um, for now, but uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna let this run for an hour just for the sake of just properly testing it and seeing if anything goes wrong or uh, how high it goes. But usually, I think that um, you know it'll be fine, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So to conclude, um, regardless, I would suggest getting. Uh, pads for your backplate on your XC3s um, No hate towards a critical. I just think that maybe I just got a bad batch for this one Because uh, obviously this part is doing pretty good. So um, Yeah, I don't know That's pretty much the video and uh, Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, Make sure you guys like comment subscribe and I'm out. Peace